got steel drums playing in the background. They just did the national anthem. Today's gonna be a beautiful day. And Destination Unknown's gonna take you along the way. Let's go. So as soon as you walk on the showroom floor, you're hit in the face with the most beautiful RVs you'll ever see in your life. I'm talking about multi-million dollar class A's, massive with any and every amenity you can ever want. The showroom is beautiful. These are gonna be the, the ones that like we daydream about. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks to be inside of a million dollar RV. Then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks to be in an RV that we can afford, that you can afford. You're gonna see that it's quite similar, the experience in both, but you're also gonna see the amenities that that million dollar one has to offer that those others don't. Let's go. So we just walked inside of this RV. Let's talk about it. This is the ultimate man's slash woman's off-road, four-wheel, all-terrain RV. It's got these massive four by four tires, it's got an automatic transition that allows you to switch directly into the 4x4 mode. But on the inside, you've got the beautiful woodwork on the cabinetry, the soft, luscious couches wrapped in this maroon color. It's almost like on the outside, they thought about a man and all the things that a man would want in an RV. But on the inside, it has those soft touches of a classy woman. It's beautiful. All right, guys, so right now we are in the 2021 Fleetwood Bounder 35K. Where do we start? The flooring on this, beautiful. It's got a wood-like plank flooring. The color is soft and it's got a nice little touch to it and it contrasts well with the darkness of the cabinets. The cabinets are nice. They got a good quality, good feel to them. Um, Cabinets are nice. Good feel to them. You have a beautiful full-size residential refrigerator. A nice flat screen TV. Mounted over your fireplace, which is positioned directly across from your beautiful couches. It's more like theater seating than couches. But um, this one appears to only have the one slide out here. And we may have another one in the bedroom. Yeah, we have another one in the bedroom. It's a nice little, um, nice little layout. So we have a bathroom here. This would be a half bath. Leads us into the bedroom. Fairly large bed. Looks like it's a queen still. Overhead cabinetry, washer, dryer. So this looks like it's a two-in-one. You do have your TV mounted in front of your bed. Over here, you have your closet space. Not the greatest, but it's still pretty nice. Still pretty nice. One of the things that I love that they do with all of their units is right here. This controls everything from the lights to the rear slide in, make it slide out. So, really nice. Step into the bathroom. Really nice bathroom. Good size shower. Pretty spacious. All in all, this is one of my favorite layouts that Fleetwood does. Let's go look at some more. We went from the Class A drivables to the trailers. These are the towables. I'm bringing you to this one because this one so far has been my favorite trailer that we've seen in a while. Uh, this one is the Jayco Eagle 330 RSTS. I'm going to show you the outside and then we're going to jump into the inside, okay? Check it out. Massive pass-through storage right here. I 
outlet here, cable connection, you got outdoor speakers, stairs, you got your stairs, but these stairs are super easy, super light, I'm doing this with one hand guy, and like they let down so soft and gentle, beautiful. You got to slide out, out right now. Let's walk around to the back. This bad boy right here. Got your ladder takes you to your roof. Have an additional slide out right here. So we have, so far we have two slides. And there's our third slide right there. So that's your third slide out. Here you're going to get access to your refrigerator. Really cool. If you ever have any issues with your refrigerator and you need to have anything replaced, they can easily access it from the outside and not have to come through the inside. Super convenient. You got your electrical outlet here. A little bit more storage right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. A little bit more storage right there. Here you have your wet bay. Everything that you need. Um, you can even actually do your cable and internet here too, which is pretty cool. Um, you have your holding tanks for your gray water, your black water. You actually have two gray water tanks, which is ideal. So, so far, really cool. Storage for your LP tanks. Leveling system. Love it. Love it. Now that I've kind of showed you the outside, Let's jump inside it. You guys can see exactly why I love this so much. So uh, let's go. And we're back. So let's take a second, soak it all in. Soak it all in. Soak it all in. We have a couch that does convert into a sleeper sofa. Nice size flat screen TV right here. Mounted right above your fireplace. You got your JBL speakers there inside your cabinetry. You can put anything that you need to put it there, whether it's a DVD player, or if you have a PlayStation 5, you throw that up there as well. Easily fit there. Coming over here, more cabinetry for storage. Really nice. I love the little glass that I put on there. Gives it a little bit of elegance to it. Nice. Now, one of the things that I like the most about this unit is the contrast. So you've got the dark wood here, but then when we go to the kitchen, you see that we're up to white wood. That's their farmhouse style. The farmhouse style is gonna bring in that white wood, which is gonna break up what you traditionally see in RVs. Traditionally in RVs, you're seeing a lot of this dark wood, this darkness in here, which gives the inside of the RV a dark feel to it. This opens it up, makes it kind of feel a little bit more like home, which we love. So. All right, so from here, we have our theater seating. This is amazing because this is the Stacy Stewart collection, which is some of the softest seats that you'll find in the industry. Check this out. Oh, plush. That's like butter. Just like butter. Oh, that's good. You have your drink holders there. We have some outlets here. Outlets on the other side. Vent there. Vent there. Vent. We have your JBL speakers built in. You're gonna notice that you have multiple AC units and vents throughout the entire rig. We have the dark wood. Blend it with the lighter granite. Goes really well together. Right in here, good little pantry. Very nice little pantry. A little counter space. This one is cool because you're getting the microwave, the stove top, and the oven. The stove top has a glass plate over it, which easily folds up, gives you access to your range, also becomes a splash guard. So as you're cooking, it stops anything from getting on your backsplash. 
This one they elected to go with a wood black splash. I've seen other black splashes in this unit that I like better than this, but again, still nice. Still very, very nice. We talked about it, but now you see it. Not only do you have a residential refrigerator, but you're paying for the brand with this one. So now this is a Whirlpool residential refrigerator with a ice maker and water machine built into the door. We have more cabinetry on the side. This can be used for a multitude of things. We have hooks in there in case you're looking for a coat closet or you can use it for other different type of items. Your call. More corner space. I wonder if I can get my Mac to sit here. It's a little bit close to the fridge, so it'd be a tight situation, but I'd do it. More cabinetry, as you can see, that glass follows through on the ladder wood as well. Cute little clock. What's interesting about this is you don't have that dinette that you're gonna see in a lot of different units. This one's a freestanding table, so if I wanted to, I could in theory make this a workstation. Super nice, super cool. A little bit of art with a little light illuminating behind it. If I'm being honest, I would replace that. Venture this way. Now we're in the bathroom. Very large shower with a seat or a bench in it. So if you needed to shave your legs later, you can shave your legs while you're in the shower comfortably. Good counter space. We have a real medicine cabinet. Nice, nice, nice. More storage. More storage. Storage. They took the toilet paper holder, put it on the door. It gives you a little bit extra space when you're inside of the bathroom. We're also looking at a porcelain toilet with a foot flush. Let's go into the bedroom. All right, so here we have a nice king size bed. We've got some overhead cabinets. We have a wardrobe here, which is beautiful. Yeah, even has a couple drawers there. Again, more here. This is definitely for somebody who is potentially planning to full time. You have all the space you would need. And then you have some drawers here as well. And you have your TV mounted on a wall. Also has one of those really cool remotes that controls everything in the rig so you can make the slides go in and out. Super cool. So what do you guys think? Do you like it? I like it. I like it a lot. If I personally were to buy an RV for myself, probably something like this. The price point is pretty. It's got good space. Let me know what you think in the comments below. We're going. Not a gal, sweet as can be. Take my cat home to me. I can't wait to get back now from the crowd. Show. All right, squad. So we had to do a quick little wardrobe change. Your boy is rocking a beanie. It got too warm for it. Dad had his back. Also, we got rid of that uh, that jacket, and now it's just a destination unknown. Let's do this again. We going back in. All right, guys. So right now, we're in the showroom floor again, and we're here with floor travel. 
they are a higher end RV company. So you'll see, just a second. Their RVs are gonna range anywhere from the high 800s to the millions. So let's, let's take a look at some, see what you get for that price. I just can't stop thinking about you. How's it going, man? Good, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Are you going to get a lot of these uh, campers over here? Are you going to you gonna, like uh, go check out the Class A's? You know, I'm going to try to check out some Class A's now. Okay, uh, there's a really nice Winnebago over here. The Curlist are right there behind me over there. May, may I suggest you want to take off your shoes? Whoa, let me see those. You like wow, those? nice shoes. You like those? Dude, oh, come on, turn, turn the camera down on your shoes so you can see the... Oh, yeah, look at those suckers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. I wish I had cheese Alright fam, so this is probably gonna be the top of the line, most high-end RV we're gonna see all day. Two. Two point eight million dollars. Two point eight million dollars. Let's see what that gets you. Starting off in the cab. Just look at the woodwork. Look at the woodwork. Carpet. The leather, but other than that, they're the craftsmanship. Mass of these windows are. Power. It's interesting. You have the divider in the middle, but still, it's mass of windows. And you got crystals everywhere. Everywhere. And then you got this little iPad that controls everything. You have a TV here. Probably can't see that, but that folds down for another TV. Again, crystals everywhere. Fireplace there. Storage. And chair. See, there's a theme going on here. Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I want to be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself. So now you know what 2.8 million dollars gets you. The question is, do you think it's worth it? I do, but I wouldn't get it. I love me an RV show. And just like that, it's a wrap on day one of the Florida RV Super Show. So if you like what you saw, do me a favor, leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite RV that you saw was. Also, do us a favor if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, Mash that notification bell. And as always, stay safe, be kind. Destination Nation, we out.